Hey, uh, we've been having such a fantastic journey as we've begun looking at emotional maturity and, and growing into emotional maturity. And as we've begun to have great conversations, we've noticed that many people are just loving this journey. And I'm so grateful that you are. And if that's you, hey, keep on the journey. Uh, we've had some who've maybe gone, hey, is this some sort of self-help journey? And, and others who've been kind of going, this is so great. This is all about kind of uh, the, the psychological stuff I've been wanting for so long and uh, almost like there's the middle who are really uh, delighting in this some who are concerned at self-help and others who are going this is really fantastic the psychological stuff I've been wanting to deal with for so long and uh, we just want to address both ends for a moment I just want to speak to you for those who are kind of going is this a self-help journey I want to emphatically just say absolutely not. We have been uh, walking this journey for some time. And one of the books that we've been looking at, of course, has been Pete Scazzaro's journey through emotional health. But I want you to know that whilst we've utilized his book as, as one of the major reference points, our primary reference point is always the scriptures. And we've been looking at the scriptures and making sure that at every turn, this is about making sure that this is something Jesus speaks to. And as we look, we realize that there have been some gaping holes in the way that we have led ourselves and our churches and the church even globally over the last couple of decades away from dealing with some of the emotional realities of our lives, leaving us kind of uncertain as to how we deal with some of the realities of what's going on. And that's meant that a huge grouping of pop psychology has grown up and taken that ground. And we as the church need to take it back and allow the gospel to speak into these aspects that are so real, so important. By the way, this goes all the way back to Plato, pre-Jesus, where Plato spoke about the fact that uh, the spirit and spirituality is good and anything that is body and emotional is bad. And you know what that means? Is that some of the key fathers in the church, including Augustine and others who've shaped so much of our theology, even reformed theology, have left many people going, emotions are bad and, uh, and our mind is good. And you know what? That's simply not the teaching of Jesus. Jesus teaches us to allow God to speak into and shape our emotions, that every aspect of who we are was created by God and needs to be influenced by Jesus and His grace in the gospel. And so our journey as we go into emotional health and move towards emotional maturity is to let God shape in the grace of the gospel the realities of our emotional lives. This is not signing off to self-help. This is not slipping over into a pure psychologizing of the scriptures. This is us taking all of who we are to all of the beauty of the gospel and saying, God, coach us. And we hope that you along with us would allow Jesus to put his easy yoke upon you and his light burden because he is gentle and he begins to coach us into health. I hope this is helpful.